What's up? It's the Game Buff here. Ah, we've got another day of eating coming up. It's gonna be pretty simple, pretty easy. About to go do a chest and triceps workout. Now, right now throughout the summer, I've been kind of working on a two-day split. Now, if you look at my old blog from when I was doing my first cut, I had a very different kind of split. My split right now is I do a chest, triceps, and abs day. And then I do a shoulders, biceps, and legs, and back day. So it's a two-day split. And I'll do them for several days, and I'll take a rest day here and there. I probably don't take as many rest days as I should, but I kind of do more of the, I listen to, kind of kind of listen to how I feel. If I'm <clears throat> overly sore or overly tired after, say, several workouts, I'll take a day off. I don't pro probably don't take as many as I need, though. This weekend, I'll take some time off because I'm going to see some family and uh, see what happens there. But as far as that split, that's how that goes. So I went ahead to the gym. I took my pre-workout a while ago and I don't know how much I've talked about it on here, but my current pre-workout is a <coughs> pre-apocalypse. Now I got, I did a buy one, get one free from A1 supplements. I love A1 supplements. It is a, the best, the best deals great service super fast i mean you name it it's, it's great uh but the last thing i used was sidewalk cracker and i don't know if any of you guys are familiar with that stuff but that stuff was great now it was the worst tasting stuff like one of the worst and i've taken a lot of supplements over the years oh god it was horrible this stuff definitely tastes a lot better but as far as the result i don't know how i feel about it like i get pretty good workouts but yeah so i did the buy one get one free the only reason I didn't go back to the sidewalk crack at this time was because the first time I got it was because of buy one, get one free. This time you had to buy two to get one free. And at that point, uh, it was like 40 bucks each. So I would or I would end up having to spend like 60 to 70 bucks to get a couple of them versus the stuff, the pre stuff I got here was like 20, 25 bucks or whatever. And I got two of them. So that's why I went with that. I do try different pre-workouts. Uh, I know some folks out there are totally against them, but you know, I I like them. It's part of what I do. And as far as other supplements go, you've heard me say it before, I don't do a lot of other supplements. Uh, I just do pre-workouts. I do a vitamin in the morning and that's it. Right now, I'm not doing any creatine. I'm not doing, uh, I used to do BCAAs. And the one thing about BCAAs, I didn't know when I was first into keto, I done keto for a bit, dropped a good amount of weight, went to go start cutting, and I was using the BCAAs. And it turns out that apparently, from what I've researched, you can't really go into ketosis at any point when you're using that. I didn't know that. Now I was still able to cut and drop weight using it, but I imagine that I may have stifled myself a little bit by doing it. So I don't know. I'd recommend not doing it. Uh, I'll probably here my next like cut or next site you know I'll, I'll probably cycle some creatine back in I'm not sure yet uh, but right now the pre-workouts all I do now when it comes to protein I don't really do a whole lot of that I've got protein sitting around my house that I don't use it just is what it is but I'm not big on that and yeah to quote that uh, the weird moped kid at the gym you know I don't do protein tricks I don't only do one I don't do any right now Every now and then, though, I'll do like protein pancakes or something like that, which if you've never had, you should try. But since I don't, I don't do breakfast, when am I going to do protein pancakes? That's, you know, old stuff. But nevertheless, we're going to go work out. We're going to hit the, uh, we're going to hit the chest a little bit, mostly triceps, mostly abs, get the cardio in. I do want to get back to uh, just straight up running outside, but it's rained nonstop pretty much every day for about the last two weeks. So it is so wet outside. And I live in a place that drains well. So running outside is still kind of off limits a little bit because of how wet it is, but I want to get to it soon. I want to get back on the, uh, back on it. I hate running, but I gotta, I've gotta be running and you'll see why eventually here, why running could be a priority, but I've got something in the works, but nevertheless, let's go work out. Let's get it done. I'll try to film what I can, but once again, you know how it is in the gym. If it's super busy, I don't know how much I can get. Um, so we'll see. So sit back and stay tuned and uh, let's get it on. You're looking for discretion, peering down scenic view. Although it looks pathetic, your eyes know just what to do. Maybe I'm beyond. Maybe I'm All right, hey guys. 
guys, I just got back from the gym and I went in there, I did chest, I did triceps, I did a little bit of abs, not anything, uh, not anything major. It was kind of busy in there for a random Tuesday. Uh, I got rolling, like I said, I woke up this morning and my chest kind of hurt like through the middle here. So I ended up just uh, focusing more on just doing some push-ups, doing some dips, some uh, decline bench presses. I didn't do flat bench. Um, I did, with the Smith machine, uh, tricep, you know, I did those. I did pull downs, I did one handed pull downs, I did outside pull downs. I had, you know, pretty much my normal two day split chest triceps routine, but I went for a while. I made sure I did a lot of cardio. I couldn't find my jump rope before I went. I was looking all over. So, what I ended up doing is I ended up using the step and I ended up doing like side straddles on each end, running up and down the step, you know, for a minute or two at a time in between each set. Definitely had my heart going, definitely had a good sweat going, definitely. Uh, was getting my cardio in in that way. And that way when I get back to running pretty exclusively, um, it won't be beating me up so bad. Cause right now when it comes to me running, cardio wise I'm fine, but my legs just aren't conditioned for it. Cause I hadn't done it in so long besides maybe some sprinting here and there, you know, no distance running. But it's something I'd like to definitely get into as I said earlier. So at this point now, I'm back home. I'm gonna work on some of my other content for my channel. Uh, this afternoon I got an eye appointment and that drives me nuts. You got to go every year to redo your contact prescription. Now here's the thing. I'm 32 years old and I've had the same exact eyeglass and contact prescription since I was 16 years old. So it has not changed at all. But the fact you got to go back every year. Now I guess if you have risk factors or something or your prescription kind of changes here and there, I can see that. But you know glasses, if I'm right and I might be wrong. I think it's every two years or so you gotta go back. Contacts is every year, and it drives me absolutely nuts. So I gotta go do that. And the thing is, is that since I was I had other stuff going on, I put it off until a couple days left to, until I was going back to work. So I was lucky I was able to find an appointment for today, kind of like last minute kind of deal. So I gotta go do that. Um, I hate going to the eye doctor, because I feel like even though the one I go to I like a whole lot, the techs are all always trying to like sell me something extra or whatever, and then when I decline it, they do the whole like, oh well, I guess you don't care about your eye health. Well, obviously I do. I just don't feel like spending fifty bucks for that extra fools. I don't know. It's just me ranting. But here in a bit before I go, I'm definitely probably gonna eat something. It's a little after ten o'clock now. Not that hungry. Just worked out. Uh, I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do for lunch. So I guess we'll see when it gets to be that time. push something else, I'm going to say no, and they're going to get an attitude about it. 100% <clears throat> true. So I go in there, I go back with the first lady who makes you look in that machine, they blow the air in your eyes or whatever, and I've been going to this one eye doctor for probably the five years or so I've lived in this area, and I like the doctor a lot. And I go back there, I sit down, the girl starts going over everything, she's like, alright, well your insurance covers this and that, and then this is your copay and this. And then it's $49.95 for this. And she was saying something else that I know is an optional service. But she was saying it like it wasn't. So I said, was that optional? And she goes, well, I guess it's optional if, you know, the doctor wants you to have them. But if you don't have the money and stuff. And I was like, well, hold on. And I didn't get mad. But I was like, lady, hold on a sec. It's not that I don't have the money. And believe me, trust me. I don't, I'm a teacher, so it's not like I'm loaded or I'm rolling deep or nothing like that. But it's offensive to apply that to somebody. Oh, if you don't have the money. Oh, I'm sorry, lady. I didn't want to do it. You accused me of being poor. I'm going to go ahead and drop the money. I've been in sales. That, 
that's so offensive. But nonetheless, like, ma'am, I, I have insurance that's covering this anyway. It's the principle of the matter. Well, the doctor likes it. Well, I'm going to see her in about, I don't know, five minutes, and I'll, if she's got a problem with it, I'll tell her. She's told me herself it's BS. What ifs? So I go back, see the eye doctor. She's great, as norm. Uh, I go up front, end up getting a great deal on some glasses with contacts. Uh, I get a good rebate and stuff. So that part worked out well. But the part I was telling you about, I called it out. I said they're going to try to stiff me in that front room. They always do. And I'm not one of those like old men types of goes. I'm like, don't try to sell me nothing today. It's not like that at all. But it is what it is. Wilmington. I don't live in Wilmington. I, I lived in Wilmington uh, a couple years ago when I was going to UNCW. Yeah, my wife was working out in that area. Now I've moved out of Wilmington. I live in one of the surrounding areas. And trust me, God, the traffic was crazy. And it's a Tuesday and it was 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But it's summertime, you got all the tourists. And let me tell you, those tourists, they come down here, they throw all the drive, like they, they drive like animals, the crazy maniacs. It's pretty wild. But every time I go into Wilmington, I'm reminded and I'm thankful that I don't live in Wilmington anymore. Now, I've only got to go into town for a couple things here and there if I got to go to Lowe's or something. So whew, that's pretty nice. Thank freaking goodness. But I decided to end up uh, skipping on lunch. I decided to do a 24 hour fast. So when you see my full day of eating, as you're going to see one meal. So, whoo. so you'll see that here in a bit. I got a great idea for something. I came home looked in the fridge and decided to pull the trigger on something that I hope will be kind of awesome. I feel pretty good about it. So you'll have to find out. All right guys, so I decided to go ahead and make some fried chicken tonight. And some of you guys out there are gonna go, fried chicken, rah! But I'm using almond flour and some spices and cooking in a little bit of oil, or a lot bit of oil, depending on how you look at it. But let's have a look here real quick. Oh my goodness, look at those dirty things frying up right there. I breaded them, like I said, with the almond flour, salt, pepper, a couple other spices. Look, I'm like General Sanders here, Colonel Sanders. I don't want to give away my, you know, secret blend of herbs and spices. I haven't made this recipe in a long time. Last time I made it was for, uh, I want to say chicken alfredo, and it was amazing. So I'm making this. I'm going to put it on wraps, though. It just sounds like, you know, some breaded chicken wraps, some lettuce, some ranch. Pretty excited. We'll see how it turns out. We'll see if my mind just changed between now and then, but we'll see. And then over here, that's my breaded one waiting to hit the fryer. Twice breaded though. So I dipped them in egg, put them in my mixture, dipped them back in the egg again, in the mixture again, and now they're in a fryer. So we'll have to see how they turn out. All right, there it is. I put it on tortillas and got some lettuce and cheese. I'm gonna put some ranch on there. Uh, should be awesome. It all came out real nice, so We'll see how it turns out. All right, that's it. Guys, the chicken was fantastic. My wife and I and my kid all loved it. We ate every bit of it, and my wife had leftovers for work. Now, make sure you like and subscribe and keep following my vlog, and we'll track some keto progress and have some fun. See you next time.